Welcome. Today we'll learn about specific property related features included with your Rentac Direct account. There are knowledge base articles and separate training videos dedicated to many of these property related features, and they will go into even more detail than this overview today. Your software supports the management of many property types. Basically, your property can be any space that someone is renting from you that you need to track the income and expenses and related activity for. Before you add in a property, make sure you adjust your settings, add in your bank accounts, and for PM clients, be sure to add in property owners and managers before adding in your properties. Doing these first will ensure your account activity flows smoothly. Bank accounts and property owners are added through the accounts page and your settings and property managers are handled through your settings page. Once those steps are complete, add in your property through the property page. Each property will have a profile page to list out details about your rental. Hover over the question marks you see throughout your software if you need clarification about a specific field. The property nickname will appear on reports and in your property list. We recommend using a street address or a building name. Use the description field for information you may want to search out for in your account filters, such as new carpet or pets allowed. And be sure to enter a valid and complete address, especially if you plan to use any of the marketing or electronic payment features as they draw off of these fields. Check the multi-unit property box if your rental property has separate spaces to rent that are located in the same building or property. The monthly rent is referred to as market rent, and this, along with the default security, are your desired default rates you will charge new tenants. When you're placing a new tenant into a rental, you will have the option to list an alternate rate to charge them. The property type section is for your internal reference. If you're working in the PM version of Rentec Direct, you will be able to assign managers and property owners. By assigning separate manager roles, separate individuals will be notified about tasks such as incoming work orders or marketing inquiries. If you're working in the PM version, be sure to add in and link the property owner to each property they own. This enables you to do trust accounting and provide property owners with reports and a private property owner portal. When adding a property, be sure to link the default bank account for tracking property related income and expenses. If you're going to be creating bank deposits and reflecting transactions that make up bank deposits, select the undeposited funds account for the income account. The property reserve field is useful to keep track of an amount you hold back from a property's available funds. Typically, this is used for maintenance or emergencies. This amount will be referenced in the owner reports and in the property page under the property balance. If you require renter's insurance on a property, indicate so in the property profile. This setting will prompt summary page reminders to you about tenant's insurance status, as well as it'll trigger a notice to tenants in their tenant portal. PM clients are able to set automated management fees and placement fees right through their property profile. Management fees can be automatically applied when rent is billed or when rent is paid depending on your management agreement. Here's a tip for clients that are migrating in historical tenants and any historical rent charges. If you bill management fees as a flat fee or a percentage of charged rent, consider holding off on setting your management fee until the tenant has been placed. The reason for this suggestion is historical rent charges will create historical management or placement fees if your fee structure is based on charged rent or a flat fee. You can always delete an unwanted transaction from a property ledger if you need to. At the bottom of the property profile page is a section for custom info where you can keep track of additional property specific details. These fields can be searched for in the property page and in the summary page search filters, as well as inserted into custom forms that you create. Examples include tracking property pet policies, utilities or appliances that are included. 
Here is a sample of searching for a custom field through the property page filter. To set up custom fields, follow the link at the bottom of your property page or head on over to your settings page. Custom fields are also available for tenants and property owner profiles. If your property has multiple units, after you add in your master property where you've indicated it has subunits, your next step is to define the subunits. Simply click on the links below the name of the master property to define each subunit. Notice the master property details will carry over to the subunit profile page where you can adjust any fields that are different on the subunit level. The name of a subunit is linked to the address, so it is important that the unit name is address specific. The master property address will default into the subunit address field unless you decide to change them. Subunit addresses are important for marketing, for tenant statements, and for electronic payments. In this subunit example, if we look at the master property's address, Notice how the resulting subunit's address will appear. Once a property has been added, tenants can be placed and you may begin recording property transactions and working with all your property specific tools. For a multi-unit property, notice the master property name is located at the top and the subunits will fall right below. To locate property menu options, Click on the icon below the property balance or click on the property name. The property balance is a reflection of the income and expenses for your property. With multi-unit properties, each subunit has its own balance and its own ledger. The master ledger for the property is located across from the main property name and it is a cumulative ledger that contains all property-wide transaction and unit-specific activity. To view all your transaction activity, click on the balance to open the ledger. Once in a property ledger, there are filters for isolating specific information and transactions can be recorded from within the ledger and they can also be edited by clicking on the pencil paper icon. Property ledger transactions can be downloaded into a CSV file by following the link located at the bottom of the ledger. Once you've added in your property, you'll be able to assign a tenant through the property tab. When placing a tenant, property accounting default settings will pre-populate some tenant fields and those can be manually overridden when placing your tenant. There are training videos and knowledge base articles dedicated to managing tenants, so be sure to explore those after this video. To track property related expenses in your account, Click on the red dollar sign icon in the property tab or choose the option from the menu or click the button inside the property ledger. When posting a transaction, the property balance is listed for your reference. The transaction date will default to the current day and can be adjusted to reflect historical activity. Choose the option in the transaction details if your expense is recurring or it is going to be depreciated. The default bank account linked to your property profile page will be listed in your transaction and it can be adjusted if you need to. If you are billing your tenant for a property expense, link them into the transaction. Make sure to categorize each transaction so your financial reports will be meaningful. Attachments can be added to transactions and will be viewable after posting right through the ledger, represented by a paperclip icon. Check the box if you wish to share your attachment with the property owner through their property owner portal. Linking a vendor or payee into the description section will assist you with yearly 1099s as well as with pulling vendor reports. Payees can be quickly added on the fly by typing their name into the assign to field. If you have multiple expenses to record, consider using the batch transaction tool. Splitting out a property transaction into multiple categories or pieces can be accomplished through the accounts page at the bank account level. Your account has unlimited file storage. To store a property related file, choose the option in the property menu. Click on the upload button and select the file from your device. Be sure to name your file so it's easy to locate in the future. Each file has a menu of options, including instant file sharing with tenant or property owner portals. 
Your property notes and reminder section helps you to keep track of property details and activity. Find the notes and history section in your property menu. System generated activity will be automatically recorded and click on the button to add your own custom note to the property log. Notes will receive a date and a timestamp. Notes can be used as reminders either through your summary page notices or by email or text messaging to you or someone else. To view the reminders you've scheduled, click on the summary page notices. To view notices and reminders for one specific property, use the summary page filter. Temporary notes can be created for a property through the sticky note option in your notes and history section. This temporary note will appear as a clickable icon next to your property. To track maintenance on your property, select work orders from the property menu. Once a work order is created for a property, a clickable wrench icon will appear across from the property name. Work orders allow you to track details about the issue, the resolution, the expense, and the associated vendor. Photos and documents can be attached and you can elect to share the work order with tenant and owner portals. There are options for your tenants to send you maintenance requests directly through their tenant portal. To automatically email your tenant when a work order has been resolved, toggle the closed and resolved dates in the work order and be sure your tenant auto emails are set at the tenant level. To quickly reference all your open maintenance requests, view your summary page notices. Work order reports are located in your miscellaneous reports page. Your Rentec Direct subscription includes features for marketing your rentals, including a dedicated web page, syndicated listings with the biggest online marketing sites, Craigslist tools, and a printable flyer. The available rentals page can be used standalone as part of your Rentec Direct five page free website, or it can be inserted into your privately hosted website. The marketing web page displays all of your available rentals and will feature details and photos of each rental. Leads can search through your listing and send you their preferences for future contact. There are program default settings that will allow leads to interact with your property listing webpage, so be sure to check those out. If you're using the lead tracking feature, a link will appear in your property page when match leads are received. Beyond your Rentec Direct listing page, your rental listing can be set to automatically feed to the industry's top listing sites. Rentec Direct does not bill you for this service, and most syndication partners do not charge additional fees for listing on their sites. However, some do, such as Zillow. To activate your property listing features, choose Marketing Info from the Property menu and complete all the details on this page, including attaching as many photos as you desire. Your marketing page for your rental offers a customizable online rental application. Your prospective tenant can share their details and pay an application fee to you if you've activated your EasyPay features. For a lead to apply, they would simply click the Apply button, and your software will walk them through your custom application. It's very easy for applicants to complete as it guides them through your questions that you elect to include to help you screen your applicant to meet your criteria. At the end of the application, they can upload documents that you've requested, and they can even pay your application fee, which will be deposited directly into your bank account. To activate your online rental application, go to your settings page and toggle your application settings. Once your online application is set, make it available on your property listing page through the property marketing page. To edit details about a property, choose the option in the property menu. If you are editing a multi-unit master property, you have the option to broadcast those updates to all subunits at the same time. You are able to store property records for properties you no longer manage by using the Archive Property option. This will remove your property from your current property list. Archiving a property ensures your monthly Rentec Direct billing is based only on active properties and your reports will only contain current properties. If you do archive a property, it can be reactivated easily simply by going into your archived property menu. Rentec Direct has partnered up with other online companies to deliver top-of-the-line services to you directly through your account. 
You have options for ordering credit and criminal background reports on applicants, viewing detailed property inspections, creating and sending custom forms and letters for electronic signatures, filing vendor and property owner 1099s electronically, marketing your rentals, and even performing background reports on pets. Some of these service partners have their own associated fees, and some of their services are rolled into your Rentac Direct monthly billing. Dig into your knowledge base or reach out to your client success team for more details. This concludes your orientation to all of your property-related account features.